everyone. Happy New Year's Eve. We got a pretty busy day today. We're gonna try and bring our cows up from down on the river. We're gonna try to bait them, up, bait them up here with hay and see if we can't get them to just walk across the road and right into the cows here. I got a lot to do to get ready for that. I've got to put together some kind of fence line up here through this gate we'll go through. So I'll probably end up using some trucks and trailers to make a makeshift fence and yeah, shovel out a bunch of gates. As you can see, we've been getting quite a bit of snow, probably, oh, 14 inches or so on the ground, I guess. I think what I'm gonna start with is, I'm gonna feed the beefs the grain ration for the day. And I'm gonna move them over here into one of these corral pens. And that way I can build my little makeshift fence here. I'll probably use this whole truck in the flatbed and my pickup with the horse trailer. And I'll just start here on the corner of this cable fence and make a runway straight into that pen right there. So we'll just have them come straight across the road here. And hopefully they'll just come straight across and right into that pen. At least that's what the plan is. We gotta sweep off and shovel off all these trucks and tractors so I can use them. You can tell my block heater's working in my pickup. It's kept all the snow melted off the hood. Luckily, it's only about 15 degrees this morning, so the snow that would be getting is real nice and light and fluffy, so it shovels and sweeps off pretty easy. Oh, excuse me. He's all nice and cozy in there. This stuff here's about, oh, just below my knee. There goes Fred, plow some snow. Chickens are all taken care of. Let's go start shoveling out some gates. We need to shovel out this gate so it can swing both ways. And same with this panel. What we'll do is we'll take this panel and move it so it comes out here. And we'll grab that panel there. And then we'll grab our beefs here, run them through here, and put them back in this pen. And we need to shovel out the gate over here, the gate over there, the gate, both these gates go into that quonset. So we got plenty of shoveling to do. Okay, we got one done. Just uh, there's two or three more to go. I think I put on too many layers this morning to be doing all this work. I learned that finger snapping trick from watching the Millennial Farmer on YouTube. Sure saved me a lot of work. We're getting close. Got our makeshift fence put together. I'm gonna take a couple bales of the silage down there. Hopefully the smell of that will keep them coming right behind me. Made it down here. Hopefully this works. Hopefully we can get the whole herd gathered up and get them to follow us back up to the yard. Wish us luck. It. Once we get across the road, our part's over. See how it goes. We got the majority of them in here. There's still a few coming across the road still. So I'm just going to leave the tractor right here. And I'm gonna circle back and see if I can't push the rest of them in. So I got the gates closed off there. Now I'm just trying to push them back into the, the corral. Then we can sort them off, sort mine off from my dad's and kick dad's out here on the Idaho side. Mine can go back down on the river. Hey, hey. 
Hey, 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 cows, hey, cows, hey, cows, hey, oh, cow. I got him in the quonset, so we'll push him back out and start cutting the cows off. These dang bulls. They already busted out one gate and broke some chains and you think they'd never seen each other before. So we had got mine and dad's cows sort of off from each other's and now I'm just gonna load up the wagon here in a few bales and we're gonna do about the same thing. Just try to bait mine back down to the river and then I'll feed them down there and call it a day. across the across the road and across the slew bridge so I think we're in the clear now we'll just hopefully get them back down to the river before, before they get too tired and get them fed let them rest up just wanted to stop and make sure they're still following me I couldn't see behind the wagon to see if they were still following so just wanted to make sure they were we're about two thirds of the way there what do you dogs think, huh? Made it back down to the river. The cows are slowly making it behind me. I guess I got a little ahead of them. I couldn't see them. We'll wait here for a minute, let them catch back up. We got lucky when we were bringing them cows back across the road because my mom and stepdad Don happened to be coming to pick up my wife because we're all heading to Lava Hot Springs tonight for New Year's Eve. And they, they stopped there on the road and helped us get them cows across the road stop traffic and make sure the cows went the right way. It's always nice having a bunch of hands helping. Let's go fill up our feeders. cows are fed so all I have to do now is go out and feed my dad's cows and that'll be about it we'll call it a day after that hopefully I'll be able to make it out to lava hot springs with my family before midnight hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching talk to y'all later you know it's cold outside when your bibs stand up on their own solid